Richard Krause. Uh, the honored guests for today, the Munchkins, here they come. Come on in, Margaret Pellegrini. <laughs> Congratulations on this. The, the, it, uh, can you believe it's the 70th anniversary of this movie? Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. It uh, really goes by. <laughs> Does it seem like just yesterday that you were making this film? That's right. It seemed like yesterday. Yeah. And nothing happened in between. <laughs> <laughs> Well, tell me how you became involved with The Wizard of Oz. I was doing an act with my dancing teachers called Three Steps in One Half. That's the hat. See, see, when we were in dancing school, they always did an act, you know, in New England. Right. But this time, the agent says, get something different. You know? So since I was in the school, they said, if you can't join us in the act, it's fine. So they incorporated me in certain areas. So we did an act called Three Steps in One Half. It's as simple as that, you know. Yeah. And the agent saw you perform. Somebody seen us perform in Ethel, Massachusetts, I think. I'm not sure where it was. I come, some guy came backstage and says, my name is so-and-so, and I don't even remember his name. So we're doing a movie in Los Angeles called The Wizard of Oz, and it requires a lot of singing and dancing by a lot of people. And I know you can sing and dance, so you'd be perfect. Are you willing to go with us? I said, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a movie star? Yeah. So I did. We met in Times Square, like they said, and we all got on the bus and on the way for six days. So you went out, you went out to Hollywood by bus? By bus. Oh, yeah. And was it all little people on the bus? Was it all? Yes. Yeah. Eventually, yes. Eventually. And what was it like? Because uh, I, I imagine that it's the first time that you had been around uh, any large number of little people, right? Oh, first time, that's right. Yeah. I was all excited. Yeah. Yes. Now, tell me about what happened when you got to Hollywood. I've heard stories about uh, how, you know, there'd be uh, uh, 40 chairs, 40 makeup chairs set up in a row, and you'd have to oh, get there. Yeah, they had to do that. Everybody had a time, you know. The lollipop kids, and then the, 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 the soldiers, and then the three little girls, the lullaby league. And, well, they had to look exactly the same every day. Right, right, right. So that was the Richard Krause.